let's discuss this uh, geometrical problem and it says that uh, the quadrilateral ABCD in the quadrilateral ABCD like M is the midpoint of uh, AB N is the midpoint of BC O is the midpoint of CD and P is the midpoint of AD so AP equal to PD AM equal to MB BN equal to NC and CO equal to OD now BP DN CM and AO they are joined to create this <coughs> strip area and we need to find out the ratio of this red colored area with the total yellow colored area so we need to find the ratio of this area is to the total of these four yellow areas now to start with uh, if we consider the strip A N C O since M and O are the midpoint so very easily we can prove that A N C O area will be the half of the area of the quadrilateral for this uh, let me quickly join the diagonals like uh, BD is one diagonal and AC is the other diagonal now from the figure we can safely claim this that area of the triangle BPD is equal to half of area of the triangle BAD because you can see that for BPD the base is PD and for BAD the base is AD so PD is half of AD so that's why the area will become half of the area of BAD and uh, similarly we can consider that area of triangle BDN must be equal to half of area of triangle BDC okay for the triangle BDN the base length is BN and for the triangle BDC the base length is BC now BN is half of BC so the area will also be half now adding the two areas like if I add up these two equations then we'll be getting the area of BPD plus the area of BDN that is the area of the strip BPDN so area of the quadrilateral BPDN is equal to half of if we add up the area of the triangle BAD plus the triangle BCD the total area of the quadrilateral so area of BPDN is half of the area of quadrilateral ABCD Similarly, we can also consider that uh, the area of triangle AMC is half of area of triangle ABC. Due to the same reason, AMC will have a base which is half of the area of the uh, half of the base AB, and uh, area of triangle AOC is half of area of triangle a d o okay area of the triangle a o c is half of the area of the triangle a d o sorry a d c so this should be half of the triangle a d c now adding the two area again so we can write down area of the strip AMCO area of the strip AMCO is half of the area of the quadrilateral ABCD so we can see that the area of the strip BPDN area of the strip BPDN is uh, half of the area of the strip area of the quadrilateral ABCD and area of the strip AMCO is also half of the area of the quadrilateral ABCD so we can see that uh, these two strips that is BPDN and AMCO these two strips are having equal area and they are half of the total area of the quadrilateral so we can say that these two strips uh, when uh, they will not going to have any overlap then they will add up to give up the total area ABCD because they individually are giving 
half of the area of ABCD. So if I going to add up the two area, that is area of BPDN plus area of AMCO. So this total area should, the sum of the area should give me the total area of the quadrilateral ABCD. So here we'll be using a very important concept which is called the carpet theorem in geometry. Okay, so we'll be using the concept of carpet theorem. Now what is this carpet theorem is all about? Let's discuss. The idea is logically very relevant and very important also. Like the carpet theorem says that uh, like if I consider these two strips A and C O and uh, B P D N if I consider these two to be non overlapping carpets then these two non overlapping carpets on adding should give me the total area of the <coughs> quadrilateral A B C D. Now if they are non overlapping they are adding to give us the area of A B C D. Now if the two carpets overlap in that case we can say that the overlapping area is the leftover area. Okay, so this is all about the carpet theorem. Like I can give you another example here is that uh, like let us consider these two carpets. Okay, suppose one is uh, number one carpet and two is number two carpet. So these two carpets are not going to have any overlap and they on addition are giving me the total area of this rectangle. Now, if these two carpets are going to have an overlap, like if I consider the carpets like this, so this portion will be the overlapping area and this portion will be left over. So we can easily claim that this overlapping area should be equal to this left over area because initially the total area was uh, equal to the area of the rectangle. So any overlap that has been created due to the shifting of carpet should be equal, equal to the area of any leftover portion. So here what is happening like these two strips AMCO and BPDN. These two strips on addition is giving me the total area of the carpet ABCD, total area of the region ABCD. So um, the area of the overlap that is the area of the red colored portion should be balanced by the total area of the leftover part that is the total area of the yellow colored region. So here we can easily claim from carpet theorem that the area of the red colored region is equal to the total area of the leftover portion which is yellow colored. So the ratio is going to be 1 is to 1.